Dr. Bob, tell us exactly what effect a vaccine has on our immune system. Well, the vaccine is a booster. It doesn't infect us. It's not virus. It's not going to be bad for us. And this spike protein tells the immune system that you've been infected when in fact you have not. So it's a way of showing the immune system, your police department, that this is what the cr criminal looks like. If you see it again, arrest them right away. Don't tolerate an infection. No anarchy within the body. And that's what the vaccine does. So when people get the vaccine and they have side effects, and I always say, don't worry about the side effects. It may be an ache, it may be a slight fever, it may be a sore arm, it may be some nausea, that's okay. It means your immune system, your police department is working. Dr. Bob, say that one part one more time so our audience knows for sure. If you're having side effects to the vaccine, it is not because you have the virus. That's correct. The virus is not going into you. What is going into you is the antigen, which means foreign substance. That's going into you to make your immune system believe or understand that you may be infected or may will or will be infected. And that's a protective network. But you basically you're telling your police department, be on the lookout or bolo. Right. It's a, bo for it's a bolo. Are, it's a it's bolo. A bolo. Yeah. Be on the lookout for the COVID. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bob, so let's go to some of your favorite go-to tips that we can all do to strengthen our immunity. So important today. Well, some of the tips are very, very important, and that is diet and stress has to be ameliorated. And, you know, the brain really controls the immune system. If you're depressed, if you're under a lot of stress, if you just have a divorce, you sold your house, you're taking an exam, or a loved one died, you're mm -hmm. under a lot of stress, and your immune system, your host resistance goes down. So the first thing I tell people is get rid of stress. How do you do that? Well, yoga, uh, meditation, yep. that all helps immune function. It actually has a physiologic effect. And that physiologic effect is extraordinary. So intimacy is extremely important. When you hug somebody, your oxytocin levels rise. That's a hormone. Your prolactin levels go up. That's another hormone. So that's the reason people have dogs in nursing homes. Because if you pet and you hug the dog, your hormones go up, your resistance goes up. It's not just for fun that we have dogs in the hospital to help patients who are chronically ill. All of these things scientifically mean something. We've even studied light cycles in rats and mice and shown that if somebody is exposed to light for greater than 24 hours, their resistance goes down. Or if they're only in the dark for like 48 hours, their resistance goes down. Circadian rhythm is important. All of these things, socialization, if you're living by yourself, and during the pandemic, you saw this, people get depressed, they have really bad uh, feelings, and all of this is doing damage to your host resistance, and that really means amazing. infections. It's an amazing thing. All right, great tips. Listen, we could go on and on. We'll just have to we have could. you back, Dr. <laughs> Bob. But to learn more about your immune system, there's a lot to it, check out Dr. Bob's new book, Immunity Strong, by visiting our website at thedoctorstv.com.